The Palestinian Authority has welcomed the decision by the UN Human Rights Council to investigate crimes committed during the recent Israeli onslaught against Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. The PA said the decision amounts to international recognition of Israel's systematic oppression and discrimination mm -hmm. against Palestinian people. It added that this reality of apartheid and impunity can no longer be ignored. The Palestinian resistance movement Hamas has also hailed the UNHRC's decision for this investigation. Hamas movement welcomes the decision of the UN Human Rights Council to investigate the crimes of the war that was committed by the occupation forces against the Gaza Strip and Jerusalem Al Quds. What happened in the Gaza Strip is a fully fledged war crime that the world watched it happen on their television. Now we need a further step to be taken which is to actually punish the occupation and take preventive steps so these crimes would not be repeated against our Palestinian people. The Hamas spokesman said the resistance group defended the Palestinian people in accordance to international law. The UN Rights Council agreed to initiate a probe into, quote, systematic human rights abuses during the Israeli war against Palestinians. Council's chief, Michelle Bachelet, expressed concern about the high level of civilian fatalities and injuries from the Israeli strikes on Gaza, warning that the aggression may constitute war crimes. As usual, the United States has regretted the Council's probe decision. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu also criticized what he called a shameful example of the Council's blatant anti-Israel observation obsession, that is, Tel Aviv uh, said that it will not cooperate with the probe. Moving on, Tim Anderson, director of uh, the Center for Counter Hegemonic Studies, is joining us live right now for more on that. Now, Mr. Anderson, if you could please tell us more about the different aspects, the legal aspects, of course, of the Israeli attack on Gaza. Well, as is well known, the International Criminal Court decided some time ago that it's going to investigate um, previous crimes against uh, on Palestinian territory, since Palestine has that level of recognition at the United Nations now. And the, the head of the investigations has said that she is now including the recent events in her brief. Now, that's being resisted very uh, strongly by the Israeli leaders who say that they uh, are not going to allow any ICC role in the territory that they control. <clears throat> but nevertheless, this is really a paralegal type of impact because it's compounding against the Israelis because it comes just in the wake of a couple of reports uh, declaring Israel responsible for the crime of apartheid and the crime of persecution. So politically, um, the pressure from the ICC is mounting on the Israeli regime. Thank you very much, Mr. Tim Anderson, director of the Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies. Moving on.